your service speaks, man. Before I get anything started, make sure you guys pound the like button, pound the subscribe button, also pound the like and subscribe buttons to my homeboys. Another boy gaming games gaming, they do gaming, they do live streaming. You might even get your boy from kick some ass alongside them and also go ahead and follow both their Twitch accounts. I'll put the links to their Twitch accounts in the description box below. And also feel free to follow your boy on Twitch as well. I'll put a link to that to my account there as well. Alright, let's get into it, y'all. Snowfall season three. I've been waiting on this all damn year. Snowfall season three, episode one, protect and swerve. And in this episode, we get a lot of continuation of what happened last season. Um, first things first, I'm happy to see Gustavo back in the mix. I thought the man, you know, went down for the count. It turns out Lucia is the one who's actually been MIA, and Gustavo has actually been waiting for her to return. Even, you know, the woman that he was working, you know, that the bartender at the dive bar that he was that he was uh, bouncing. Said, you know, he's, you know, she's never gonna come back. And he never, he, he just looked at her. But Reed Thompson, you know, being the guy that he is, he's like, you know what? I can, you know, I just really wanted to hit you up because, you know, my, my brother Matt, he's down for the count because he has, his, you know, his drug problem. You know, we see Reed visit his, his father. His father said, look, we don't need your guilt money. You don't even have, you don't even have the guts to even, you know, take care of your family. You know, and Reed just, you know, walked away. You know, obviously heartbroken by hearing his own father say that to him, but it makes perfect sense. You know, Reed has been, you know, he practically, you know, his life has only been dedicated to, you know, where he's at, you know. But then also, you know, we see him meet up with Gustavo at that very same dive bar. Mind you, just right after, just moments after he met up with Franklin saying, hey, look, I need you to increase the, the kilo count to 15. You know, now mind you, you know, you know, Franklin had a bit of a problem with that because, you know, he's, he's like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, like 15? Well, you want to, you know, bump it, bump up production? I mean, what the hell? Like, because, you know, mind you, you know, because... Reed just made a deal, you know, with his uh, DEA, DEA partner along with some new guys, you know. Now, mind you, this is all just to bring down Franklin Saint, you know, and so on. But, you know, even Reed threatened uh, Franklin and said, look, Franklin, don't think, I don't know what you think I am, what, what do you think you know, but don't forget that it's the only reason why you're out here breathing this, this damn air is because of me. I can put your ass back in that damn cell and it's not in my damn fingers. Don't Don't forget about that. But then also they run into a new problem. There's a new guy on the block, new kid on the block by the name of Man Boy, aka Drew Miller, a former associate of both Leon and Franklin, played by Melvin Gregg. Shout out to you, bro, and uh, congratulations on the role. You know, two of his associates actually they were getting ready. They were actually tasked with, you know, just running some reconnaissance on how Franklin does his handles his business, how he runs his. his uh, his operations and so on. Now, mind you, of course, now this makes perfect sense because Man Boy has Leon's ex girl, you know, be heavy. You know, he said, Look, I need you to tell me everything you know about Saint Leon, everybody in that crew. Because you know, even she said, Look, I warned you not to present those guys with him because they ain't getting popped by Leon and, and Fatback, you know, this new security guard. And so, of course, you know, Man Boy bribed with bribed with the rock, and she coughed up all the information she knew about him, which is why Man Boy was bold enough to just go brazen and bold enough to go over there to see Franklin himself. You know, and that's the fucked up thing now because now Franklin has to worry about Man Boy, you know, the DCA practically, and now uh, Officer Ryan, which is Nia's father. I believe her name is Mia or Nia. You know, me, Nia or Mia's father now. You know, because he sat him down in the car. He was like, look. I remember being like you. I used to sell product all the time myself, you know, but I couldn't shake the fact that, you know, I sold to my community, you know, seeing those people, you know, go off like that, die, you know, where we see like a, a woman on crack, you know, carrying a baby, you know, then also, you know, worrying about whether or not the cops are going to swoop in, you know, bust down the door and arrest him. So that's what made him change. And he was pretty much just trying to give Franklin one last chance to stop what he's doing because he said, how do you sleep at night, son? And Frankly, you know, he looks like his tears are, you know, his eyes are getting ready to well up with tears. He turns back and he says, like a baby. He, that's when he, he opens up the door. He said, look, Franklin, I want you to know this. Me and you are now at war. So I'll catch you around. Because even after I get down every, after I take down every single last one of your people and your crew, you know, down to your, your uncle, your auntie, your mama, it's over with. You know, and then also, last but not least, I really just hope, you know, because Claudia, she, you know, she bit the dust, you know, by the help of, uh, by the help of, um, <clears throat> by the help of Lulu, you know, you know, she had a migraine from their last tussle. And she said, look, you know, she got strung out on the arrow. You know, she took all these pills, seen, seen more doctors than the elephant man that she put it. And we 
saw the end of uh, Claudia seemingly, judging by Lulu's response when she got home. You know, she was very emotional and distraught. So we'll see what happens, man. This has been your boy, Shaver Speaks. Peace and love.